everyone and welcome to our chakra series and today we're going to focus on the crown chakra yay yes so sis is going to come on through and do what she do yes 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 we're going to clear and cleanse this out atmosphere mm -hmm. and so we're going to welcome in high vibrations while we um get this lesson on today crown chakra known as the sahasrara chakra is the seventh chakra in the series it is located at the top of the head it is associated with the higher consciousness spirituality and enlightenment so of course when you're working on that crown chakra we sis and i like to use white i think another one is like a magenta kind of color um so you wear that color that helps balance out the crown and foods are good for balancing out the crown chakra as well and some of the foods are beet tops blackberries, eggplant, purple grapes, mushrooms, garlic, ginger, onion, leche, and coconut. Focusing on the crown chakra, you want to focus on your sound. Sound is important. And the frequency for the crown is a syphagia of 963 hertz, okay? It's the letter B. And believe it or not, the chant for the crown chakra is silent. No sound. So it's deep, going deep within it. The verb for the chakra, crown chakra, is I understand. And an affirmation is I am at peace, balanced, and whole. It's good to sit in silence because I tell you, you can hear so much when you sit in silence. Yes. So let's see. So the crown chakra represents universal consciousness. So when the crown chakra opens, people often experience spiritual growth, infinite wisdom, in higher consciousness. People gain a sense of unity, power, and self-knowledge by strengthening one's connection to their spirit or soul. It gives us access to higher states of consciousness as we open to what is beyond our personal preoccupations and visions. So when it comes to emotional health associated with the uh, crown chakra, it ushers in the feeling of being in alignment with the universal energy along with understanding peace, compassion, and gratitude. And so a few details in regards to like the balance and imbalance characteristics of the crown chakra. So when it's balanced energy, you have faith, wisdom, um, you feel spiritually connected. Um, you have a, a stronger connection with your um, your divine guides, and then you have enlightenment. You you know you have a deeper understanding of you know of yourself and th your own personal environment and just things around you in in general. Now, when it comes to the imbalances in the crown chakra, it leads to spiritual distress. And so just a few things to look out for, you know, isolation and loneliness, um, inability to connect with others, um, a lack of direction, you know, the lack of focus, um, the inability to set goals or maintain goals, you know, starting something and then you don't finish it, starting something and then you don't finish it, um, feeling disconnected spiritually, um, being closed minded. So those are just a, a few things to look out for um, in regards to the characteristics of balance and imbalance. Nice. Plants that each chakra is connected to. And the crown chakra is connected to the pineal gland. It controls the cerebrum, the right brain hemisphere, central nervous system, and the right eye. Okay. The qualities and functions are perfection, integration, unity with the omnipresent being, divine wisdom and purpose, universal universal consciousness, bliss, understanding, and enlightenment. To heal the chakra. And so you have meditation, and actually that's one of the most effective methods of um, balancing that chakra. And you can incorporate, um, with the meditation, you can incorporate listening to the sounds crystals that's good to use is the Herkima, Herkima diamond, clear quartz, amethyst, 
and um and then you have other white and purple um crystals like the clear calcite and the moonstone so those are definitely some crystals to utilize for crystal healing um just being in the sunlight you know because it's going to that sunlight is going to beam down on that crown chakra and um so meditating and sitting outside in the sun say what mm-hmm. yes and then of course you know reiki and other energy healings um definitely helps with balancing the crown chakra as well nice the activities to help along with some of the activities the sis said is to be quiet to be still um each chakra is associated with a sound or a mantra but not the crown chakra Create a gratitude practice, expand your mind with books, meditate, yoga, or aromatherapy. To aromatherapy, um, so flowery essential oils like jasmine, rose, lavender can soothe an overactive crown chakra. And then you have like pungent essential oils like sandalwood, frankincense, and myrrh can help stimulate an underactive or blocked um, crown chakra. So those are definitely some great fragrances that you can u- utilize when it comes to um, working with your crown chakra. And when it comes to the elements associated with the crown chakra, you have thought and light. Mm. And so that's pretty amazing. Yes, it is. Peace. Peace. Peace.